My mom gave me this for some bizarre reason. She is on the Scientology mailing list, and she's been on there for like a couple decades. They sent her this magazine. They don't send me this magazine. I don't know what she did, but she is a, a reborn Christian, and she takes exception to this um, icon of theirs. I asked her about that. I showed, I picked this up, and I said, hey, uh, can I have this? She says, yeah. Just uh, cut my name and address out. And so I did. But yeah, to her, this is a crossed out cross. It is an antichrist symbol. I'm an atheist, so I don't give a fuck, but it's interesting, though. It's a special grand open, uh, special edition of the grand opening of the ideal org, the, the mega org, on uh, 7th and J Street in Sacramento, stone's throw from the Capitol. Uh, so, let's check some of this out. Yeah, I remember it well. I was working that day nearby, and I checked it out. The J Street was blocked for hours, and that's what it looked like. People came from all over the country, Scientologists, to make it look like this place is going to be hopping. I've uh, driven by like every day for a week and took video, and it's like sound of crickets. <laughs> uh, anyhow. Let's read some of this. The grand opening began with an exuberant, multi-ethnic performance of Canaan's wave and flag. That's big of them, you know. They're progressive, aren't they? Uh, that combined a gospel choir with a medley of dancers, including Japanese drums, Latino salsa, Pacific Islander Hulu, Hula, and hip hop. That's progressive as shit, man. Man, look at them all busting a move under the Scientology sign. Sorry about the glare. There we go. They're busting a move for LRH and his tech. <laughs> anyway, let's read some of this. Sacramento. Welcome to our magnificent new Church of Scientology. Got gold ribbon on it and everything. Not anymore. <laughs> we are proud to announce to you our new home. Oh, by the way, this is an editorial. Look. Editorial. Doesn't sound like one, though. Our graceful new Church of Scientology of Sacramento now resides in downtown's landmark Ramona Building. It stands ready to serve with a, with a full range of L. Ron Hubbard technology and to thereby bring every individual the personal means by which they can attain their fullest potential and to provide this community with solutions for every social ill. All of them. And we need this stuff done. Sorry about that. The opening of our new Church of Scientology in Sacramento begins or more uh, brings more brings far more to Sacramento than stunning physical beauty. For it is a structure that embodies the technology and services delivered within. That is to say, this is where one can attain the glory of spiritual freedom that is Scientology itself. The building is a marriage of form and function, best described by the words ideal organization. And like other churches of Scientology, it exists to bring the priceless gift of Scientology, its 
pricey and not a gift. You pay for it. A lot. It tries it bleeds you as good as it can. It's, wow. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, priceless gift of Scientology to you and all the people of this region. <sighs> And to help build a world where man is free to rise to greater heights. If you are newly acquainted with Scientology, or not acquainted at all, we await your questions with real answers. Like that needed to be said. Unless it's bullshit. Answers found nowhere else. Answers at work. In the following pages, we present the grand opening of our new church and invite you inside for a photographic tour. Yeah, I asked them about that, and they said, oh yeah, you can take video and all. I don't know. I thought about it. But I'm not so sure. Here, too, you will learn of the remarkable successes and miracles Scientologists are experiencing each and every day. Is that true? It, really? All of them? Every day? Further, further, you will learn about some of our services and how they can help any individual mend the troubles of living and thereby rise to new heights of ability, happiness, and spiritual freedom. Didn't say anything about financial freedom, though, did it? But, make no mistake, nothing can substitute for seeing the church in person. So please accept our invitation to come in and take a self-guided tour of our public information center. Wait, this is like a whole building here, and the public information center is just in the lobby. That's not much of a tour. Chip bags. I knew there was a catch. Who needs small print with language like this? <sighs> of our public information center. You can do a self-guided tour of that with one of them dogging you uh, like a Mormon elder dressed just like him, too. It's funny as shit. Uh, there are hundreds of videos that show who we are and what we do. And they'll sue you if you upload any of them. Thank you. Goodness, we got fair use. I hope it applies here. I think it does. We are open seven days a week. See, I'm trying to help out and promote it. Go check them out, guys. And gals. And folks. Come by for a visit and tour. And bring your friends and family and other potential victims. You are always welcome. Unless they 86 you. Anyway, I'm going to read some more of this, but I'll break it up. This is enough for one video. Hope you found it edifying, and who knows? It might change your life. You could become one of uh, these fine folks. Peace the fuck out. Hope you stay tuned, but if not, have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And keep clear of these guys. This is what they do at the Scientology place. They hang around at front and talk to and talk to uh, people waiting for the bus. <laughs> Nobody's really going in. 